Hallelujah. Everybody agree with this last year been out of order. Your life been out of order. Your, your money been out of order. Your health been out of order. Come on now. Your spirit been out of order. Your mind been out of order this last season. Oh, but it's a new day. Oh, I'm so glad trouble don't last always. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm telling you now, God is moving. God said that in this next season, that you're going to have an experience of the Holy Ghost like never before. He said he's going to take you back to that place when you first drunk and tasted the Lord. And if you ain't never tasted the Lord, you're going to taste the Lord this year like never before. God said, I'm restoring this year. So you better get excited about what God is doing. I don't care what it looks like. You better get excited. Hallelujah. You better give God some praise like that thing that already came to pass. See, you, you don't wait till it come to pass to give God some praise. You give him praise in advance. Hallelujah. Anybody got a praise in advance? I'm telling you, God is moving. God's going to give you a spiritual makeover. Hallelujah. You ain't finna look the same by summer. Yes. By this summer. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God, is, God is moving in this house. Yes. Glory to God. My, my, my. But I'm telling you, you better get excited, get excited about what God is doing. Yes. Because he ain't giving this blessing to just know anybody. Yes. We are believers, so you better be believing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And you better stop waiting on validation from a man. Because God has already validated you in the Holy Ghost. It's already done if you believe that. See? It's according to your faith. See? Mama can't get it for you. Daddy can't get it for you. It's according to your faith. Murder, it's your faith that brought, brought your husband back home last night. It was something you did. You petitioned the throne of grace. Hallelujah. True. It's according to your faith. your faith. And big daddy, lift your hands up. I know you from somewhere, but just lift your hands up. I, I hear the Lord saying that it's not coming back. I curse that addiction in the name, in of, the Jesus name of Jesus with no return. Yes, Lord. By summertime, man of God, you ain't gonna know, you ain't gonna even look the same. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see new opportunities, new in, new opportunities of increase in finances coming yeah, your way, man yeah. of God. God finna put you back in the game. You're getting off the bench in the name of Jesus. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. It's a new day now. You ain't got to worry about it. It's a new day. It's a new day. He closing doors that no man can shut. And he opening up doors that no man can close. This is your season, man of God. The devil tried to take you out of his season. But he could he should have killed you when he had a chance. But you, I'm telling you, you're on the other side of grace now. It's a new day. Embrace your new, your new season, man of God. Embrace it. Embrace it. God, restoration is all over you. Hallelujah. Even with your children, restoration. God is going to do something powerful in your life. Are you going to have a testimony the next 14 days? It's going to have a miraculous testimony, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It's a new day, I'm telling you. It's a new day. New experience. Can, can you think about all the services you've already been in? But God's helping to give you a new experience. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, sir. That every time you've been through, you ain't even experienced what you're about to experience. Woo! See, oh it's a new experience, Miss Tosh. Yeah. A new experience. You yeah. think you're singing now, girl. Yeah. It's a new experience. It's yeah. a new anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stay in carriage, woman of God. It's a new anointing that's coming yeah. on you. Yeah. God wants to hear you every way you heard. Hallelujah. It's a new day. I'm telling you, better embrace your new season now. That's it. The struggle is over. Yeah. The struggle is over. Don't you know the devil? Look, if the devil couldn't hold Jesus in the grave, come on now. Come on. Whatever you did, it can't hold you. It can't hold you. But you got to believe. Yeah. You got to believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to new God. experience. God said a new experience. A new experience. A greater grace. Thank you, Jesus. See, you can't do nothing without the grace of God. Can't do a thing. This year is the year of a greater grace. Yes. See, whatever he put on your heart to do, you're going to be able to do it because you're going to have the grace yeah. to do it. That's right. This year, more businesses are going to be launched out of this church. Out of people that's up in here right now, there's going to be businesses that, that's going to be launched through the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, now God's going to set this thing in order. Yes, Lord. You ain't supposed to be working for nobody. You're going to be working for yourself. Oh, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Now, I ain't down to no job, but I'm telling you what the Word say. Deuteronomy 8.18 said, but remember the Lord thy God, for it is 
is he yes. that has given you power to I get wealth. Well. Yes, sir. Now, he ain't talking about working for Fred Smith. He talking about owning the company. Owning the company. So I'm telling you, you better seek God. Quit feeling like you ain't got no gifts and talent. I'm telling you, if you can't do nothing but cook biscuits, you better run off with the biscuit cooking business. Because God want to bless you. God want to bless you. It, all you got to do is be in faith. Murder, all you got to do is be in faith. Just get in faith. See, when you get in faith, you please God. See? Yes, and, but anything else beside that, you're not pleasing to God. Amen. Even though it might seem like you might be prospering. You hear me? Yes, sir. If you're in the faith, you ain't pleasing God. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Wells, I want you to read a scripture for me. Yes, sir. Go to Romans. You're in my book. <laughs> <laughs> read Romans 8 and 8 for me. Oh, Lord, in my book. Romans 8 and 8. So then, mm -hmm. they that are in the flesh mm. cannot please God. Read it again. So then, uh -huh. they that are in the flesh uh -huh. cannot please God. You cannot be releasing your faith in the flesh. Okay. Those that are in the flesh cannot Please, Please God. God. Did y'all hear that? Yes. See, murder, if you were responded in your flesh. Oh, hallelujah. See, you was in the spirit whether it seemed like it or not because your mind was in the spirit. Yes, sir. Even though it might be some words going back and forth, but your mind and your heart was in the spirit. Was in the spirit. So you was pleasing to God. And so what he thought he had working, when he got there, God had changed his plan. Hallelujah. Place. Those that are in the flesh. Cannot. James. They Woo. cannot. Please, God. Amen. Listen, this is what God's saying. God said, look, he's saying that people, he's saying that saints up until this point, there have been many saints that have known how to manipulate the principles of God. Uh -huh. uh, there have been many men and women of God that has been blessed. Yes, sir. I'm talking about miraculously, miraculously blessed. Yes, sir. But they was caught up in sin. And they thought because God didn't expose them at a certain time that it was all good. Uh -huh. But that's why the Bible says that the gifts and callings come without repentance. Yes, See, the gift ain't for me. It's for you. You give a gift away. Okay. Yes. So a man of God, a woman of God might be up before the people in sin. Yes, sir. Operating out of his gift. Yes. And he feeling like it's all good when really God loved the people that much. Until he gonna let the gift flow so you can get your breakthrough. Yeah. But that man or woman of God got to face uh, God on the day of judgment. Sure God said in this day, in this new season, this season of 12, he said, look, ain't none of that going on. <laughs> he said, it's going to be pure. This is going to be a pure blessing. Yay. See, this blessing going to be real because you're going to be holy for real. That's right. He's going to set the body of Christ back in order. Hallelujah. And everything that's out of order is going to get out yes, the way. Sir. So okay. I understand. Yes, sir. See, they, they, they packing in churches by the droves and they ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> but this year, that's gonna be. I'm telling you, the shift is already taking it's place. Already taking place. But those that are in their flesh cannot please God. Amen. Do it. Amen. Let's let's flip back over to Romans seven, seven and eighteen. When you have it, say it's Amen. according to what you believe. Amen. I, I can tell you, you got a million dollars right now. I can tell you that you got more to do with that than I do. See, if you snatch that thing and run with it, a million dollars will pop up for you. That's right. Amen. You ain't got to believe it. God operates according to your faith. That's right. Your faith has a certain expectation that pulls on heaven and makes stuff happen. Uh-huh. That's right. If you ever been to a Benny Hinn meeting or seen Benny Hinn on TV, let me tell you something. It ain't that Benny Hinn so powerful. That's right. <laughs> let me tell you something. By the time the folk get on the stage, they be already got healed. Yeah, folk be talking about they got healed way back there in the bathroom. <laughs> but when men are here touch them, it's already done. That's right. But it's the expectation that pulls on the anointing. Yes. See, your expectation can make something happen. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. But you can't do it in your flesh. You can't do it. Romans 7, verse 30, verse 18. You have it? Say amen. Amen. For Know. Somebody said, for I know, for I know. that in me, that in me. There, is, there is in my 
flesh, flesh dwelleth dwelleth no, no good thing. Hallelujah. We can stop right there. There in your flesh dwelleth no good thing. No good thing. Hallelujah. Tonight we just want to deal with briefly. By now you should know. By now you should know. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. By now you should know, Myrtle. Yeah. By now you should know, James. See, we done done everything it is to do, and we done, fact, we done done all the wrong stuff, so now we should know about the right stuff. Mm -hmm. You done been up under the bishop. You done been holy. You done been happy. You done been rich. You done been broke. You done did all this other stuff. You done been sick. You done been well. But now, by now, you ought to know. You ought to know. You ought to know. Yeah. This next season, you ought to know yeah. what to do. What to do? When that thing rise up on you, already know. Yeah. And damn, they roll up on you, talking about they get. You already know to get away from them folks. <laughs> By now, you should know. See, and I bind that spirit of distraction. Everybody looking around, buying distraction. Yeah. I bind it. I bind it. What's going on? Yes. By now, you should know. Amen. Hallelujah. See, every mistake you made in the last season, in this season, it'll be wisdom. It'll be wisdom. See. It'll be wisdom. Right. But this year, God is setting the house in order. Hallelujah. He's setting the church house in order. Yeah. He's setting your spiritual house in order. Yeah. And he's setting your physical house in order. Hallelujah. So everything that's out of order in your houses, God finna set it in order. Thank you, Jesus. And you can't you ain't got no control over it either. See, up until this point, he gave you control to set your own house in order. Uh -huh. But now he's going to just start moving folk out the way. <laughs> he's going to let nothing hinder what he's trying to do. That right. jumper don't want to hear the gospel, shake the dust off your feet. Yeah. God's going to set the house in order. Amen. You ain't got to worry about what you ain't got, so God's going to do this. That's right. See, hallelujah. hallelujah. So tonight we want to look at divine order. What is divine order? What is the order of the house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's flip over to Psalms 50. Hallelujah. God finna set the house in order. It's automatic. I don't care what he's trying to do. You ain't gonna get away this time. That's right. You ain't gonna get away. I don't care what you think you got. Baby, I'm gonna get a million dollars. If it ain't in order, you ain't finna get it. I'm telling you, you ain't finna get it. God is setting the house in the order. He finna move some of these old jack leg preachers out of the way. Sure mm -hmm. All the old clown pastors. He finna make God finna set the house in order. That's right. He gonna take your voice. You think you don't even want to study to, to get the people a word of God? You don't want to come out and That's sing right. the people happy? Mm -hmm. Like God gonna take your throat. Sure. God finna set the house in order. <laughs> God tired of playing. That's right. See, the gospel been watered down too long. Sure That's why this place ain't for you. Yeah. I mess around and roll past the little club down here on Brooks Road. Yeah. Uh, uh, touch of, uh, 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 classic hits or whatever. Yeah. I wrote past that place at six o'clock in the evening. They was there. Man, the line was wrapped around the building at six o'clock in the evening. Daytime. I'm talking about had the booty shorts on. I, they thought it was twelve midnight. It was six o'clock in the evening. Six o'clock in the evening. We sitting there got all these empty church. Yeah. Why? Cause the gospel been watered down. That's right. Ain't nobody seen no manifestation. That's yes. right. Then at the same time, you really can't blame it on God because people really have not been applying themselves. That's right. See, Jesus said it's finished, so it's already done. All you got to do is walk in the word. Walk in the word. But see, you can't blame the pastor or the preacher if you ain't applying the word. The word. That's, right. That's, That's why you don't see everybody with a manifestation. That's right. Everybody ain't believing this word. Even some of these pastors, they don't believe this stuff. That's right. Do you really believe Jesus died on the cross? <laughs> then he got up out the grave. Don't know where he went to. <laughs> Do you believe that? See? But it ain't by coincidence that Mary Magdalene was the first one on the scene. See that? See, I'm going to tell you guys that these street folk is the ones. I love street folk. You better watch I don't even like church folk. I like street folk. <laughs> See? Because church folk, they so sanctified. Oh, yeah. They ain't doing nothing. No. Yes. Man, you mess around and get one of these cats like this right here. Yeah. And get that word in them. Yeah. It ain't no stopping. So no. I'm talking about going against any game, but that's right. See, Shoot. but the church folks sitting there sneaking on out with their little Baptist finger and all that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's gonna be a it's a it's a crackhead somewhere in this vicinity so smoking crack right now. So gonna be the next Preplo dollar in this city. Oh so no. Gonna mess around and get a whiff of that Holy Ghost of oh, this yeah. word and ain't gonna look back. Yeah. And the church would still be sitting here with three members. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Man, girl, uh, Luda Bell got out 
they do. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what happened next year. God just looking for somebody to use. He just looking for somebody to use. It was a move of God. Just it was an awesome move of God last year that took place. It was this white brother in Florida. Uh, I ain't what part of Florida. Anyway, it was this white brother in Florida. He was a skinhead. You know, the skinhead in the white, the white guy that, that shaved the head. This white boy was a skinhead. This boy had one encounter with the Holy Ghost. One encounter. He ain't never been to church. Was raised in church. He had one encounter with the Holy Ghost. Them folks was in revival for a year straight. Wow. For a year straight, folks were flying from other countries. This the type of anointing this boy was operating out of. The boy said he didn't know nothing about no apostle. None of that. See that? But got a whiffle of the Holy Ghost. Look at that. You can't win in your flesh. No. You're going to have to get in, out your flesh. Right. Why? Because in my flesh dwelling, no good thing. No good thing. No good thing. No good thing. Flesh is not going to live by faith. Flesh live by sight. That's right. The spirit walks by faith. Walks by faith. That's why if you're in your flesh, you can't please God. Can't do it. Can't Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's a new day. God setting the house in order. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Look at Psalms 50. Let's go to verse 21 when you have to say amen. Amen. It's a new day, I tell you. But by now, you're supposed to know what to do. See? Verse 21 says, Psalms 50, verse 21, These things hast thou done. Can anybody tell the truth and say they've done some things? Amen. Show your hands. Somebody done some things? Yes, sir. Okay. God said, These things thou hast done, and I kept silent. I kept silent. Yeah. They ain't say nothing when you did that. You ever heard somebody say, Say, man, man, all this stuff I did, they didn't give me for this. And then this is what I didn't do, they got me for this. <laughs> God said, all this stuff you done done, now they kept silent. Yep, I done let you, I know you, you thought you were slick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it was the grace of God. Yes, God. You wasn't slick, it was the grace. The grace you messed up the church's money. It wasn't, you wasn't slick, it was grace. That's right. See, he said, all these things you have done and kept silent. He said, thou thoughtest that I was all together such and one as thyself. He says, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now, consider this, ye that forget God, lest you tear in pieces, and there be none to deliver. My God. He said, look here, you ain't getting away with it no more. I'm trying to bless you. I'm trying to do something great for you. Lord. I ain't no sneaking and geeking. I ain't no ducking and dodging. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't no tipping and cripping. You feel what I'm saying? He said, whatever you do from this day forth, you might want to leave now. If you don't want this word on you, you can leave right now. We can get two cells. But from this day forward, he said he's going to deal with you because he's setting your house in order. He's setting the house in order. You can't be doing what you used to do. It's a new season. In a new season, everything is fresh. This is fresh. So you got a fresh track record that you're creating from this day forward. God said that I'm dealing with you. I'm not going to keep silent no more because I'm trying to raise you up. I'm trying to raise you. I want to use you. I want to use you. But I'm not going to keep silent no more. Hallelujah. Time to set the house in order. Go to Isaiah 38. All right. See, it's, it, it's, been, it's been too much playing in the church. Yes, sir. Too much playing. I had a, a meeting with a young lady today, and she was just telling me some stuff. I'm like, no, no. Person in the church. I'm talking about in the church. Not around that New York, New York. I'm talking about in the church. Great Ebenezer Baptist full gospel church. Whatever church it is. It's going down in the church. Oh my God. See? And you got real folks like Pastor Wells that's laboring and laying out, trying to get folks to come to church, and here go a church that's full to the rim. And they full of men. Full of men. Oh, but God sitting in the house in order. <laughs> go get some more chairs. God sitting in the house in order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You hear it? You're going to look up. It's going to be standing room on. They're going to call the fire chief because God's going to set this place in order. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm talking about these pastors. They just, they just, they just, oh, they relaxed in their mess. Show him. 
Hey, they relax. They're like, it's all good. Like, man, this is what I've been waiting on. <laughs> what? Wow. Playing with God like that? They ain't scared. They're going to see this year, though. Uh, this year, the church is going to make plenty of news. This year. God's going to give away congregations, buildings, cars, and all type of stuff to folk that are going to do what they're supposed to do with it. 38, Isaiah 38 and 1 says, In those days, Hezekiah, sick unto death, Hezekiah was sick. And then Isaiah the prophet, son of Amos, came unto him and said to him, Thus said the Lord, uh -huh. Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. That's what God going to say this year to a lot of these men and women of God. Set your house in order. See, when the house is out of order, then everything that comes to the house is going to be out of order. Out of order. Right. Even though you might have good intentions, mm -hmm. once you get in with the mess, then now you're a part of the mess. That's right. And you may be flat foot innocent. That's right. You may be looking for an authentic move of God. That's right. You may not have all this spiritual knowledge like other people have. Mm -hmm. But when you jump right in with no discernment, guess what? You finna bust head right, bust head wide open right along with them. You think preachers can't go to hell? Oh, you think church folk can't go to hell? I'm telling you, when you get to hell, it's gonna be some, when when some not y'all, but when when some people get to hell, some of the people that they go see there gonna really shock them. See, they gonna mess around. The dope man gonna be in heaven walking on streets of gold, and the preacher gonna be down there in hell burning because he knew the word and didn't live. Amen. You got to live the word. Oh Jesus! You got to live the word. This is not a joke. Blood was shed for this. The price been paid. You've been bought with a price. You don't belong to you. You belong to God. As soon as you said Jesus is Lord, that's when you swapped over. And this ain't no phone, cell phone contract. You can't cancel, cancel your contract. You can pay 200 and get out of this. No, you in for life. You locked in. And see, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. At some point of time, Men and women of God dived into this word and then tried to bag out. Try to bag out. And when they tried to bag see, y'all don't know they tried to bag out because y'all don't remember them when they went in. See? And so when you look at them like, what is wrong with Sister Clara? Why is she going through so much? Because she entered in at one season, but she bagged out. Mm -hmm. And when you see her, you thinking that she fresh on this thing. When now back in 95, Sister Clara got saved and was faithful. Mm -hmm. You cannot get her out of here. So you might well go and dive in and, 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 and celebrate the benefits. Mm -hmm. It's benefits. I'm telling you, we possess the land this year. Oh, yeah. This is going to be miraculous testimony. Oh, yes, God. See, God going to do something powerful. Yes, he is. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you, you got to give them the gospel. Right. The, the greatest wealth transference is this year, you but you got to give them the gospel, the gospel and they'll release their hand. That's what saved me. They will release their hand. Mm -hmm. See, then you don't know what fish you finna catch. Because I told you now, these, these street folk, they gonna mess around and get a whiff of the Holy Ghost and be gone. Yes. See, you mess around and need one, one, the right street person to, to, to God. That's right. It's gonna be over. That's right. It's gonna be over. And see, that one credit, that one credit gonna be in your spiritual bank account. Sure does. Heaven gonna record on that day, you ministered to that man of God at Mapco, and now he got 17 churches and running with the gospel, and guess what? You're gonna get all that credit. That's right. God gonna say, I remember that day you was obedient. Okay. Oh, but what about that day you was disobedient? Uh -huh. I remember that day too. Yeah. Now your blood, that same guy, his blood is on your hands. Uh -huh. We got to obey God. We got to obey God.